バイリンガルウェブマガジンディッグ東京のディレクターを務めるカズーこと G カズオペニアです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法へようこそ。ディッグ東京は8つのカテゴリーのコラムを日本語と英語で併記しているウェブマガジンです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法は僕がこれまでの翻訳や通訳の仕事を通して培ったさまざまな英語上達についてのノウハウをレッスン形式にまとめたもので、読む、書く、聞く、話すという4つのスキルが身につくと思います。ディグ東京のビジネスやライフスタイルに関するコラムのテキストを用いるのでビジネスですぐに使える英語力や旅行や海外での生活に役立つ英会話力がつきますディグ東京のテキストと YouTube の動画を使ったこのレッスンを繰り返すことで大学受験のための英語力はもちろんのこと TOEIC、TOEFL、英検などの試験のための英語力もどんどんつくことでしょう同じコラムの日本語原稿を読み上げた動画シリーズ Readings for Japanese Study もありますので、興味のある方は動画の下の説明にリンクがあります。では、このレッスンの方法について説明します。まずは、DIG 東京のテキストのページと YouTube の動画をタブや別ウィンドウを使って両方ともすぐ見られる状態にしてください。そうしたら、DIG 東京の日本語のテキストだけをまず先に読んでください。次に、英語のテキストだけを読んでください。英語のテキストでわからない英単語や熟語をネット検索を使って自分で調べてみましょうもちろんわからない日本語があればそれもチェックしてください次に英語のテキストをもう一度読んでみてくださいこれで予習が終了ですここからこの動画によるレッスンを行いますこの YouTube の動画を再生させて英語を聞きながら DIG 東京の英語テキストを目読してください次に英語テキストを見ないでこの YouTube の動画だけを見ながら英語をよく聞いてください最後に YouTube の音声に合わせて英語テキストを音読してください以上のステップを繰り返すことで英語の表現力読解力ヒアリング力スピーキング力が確実に上達するはずです2回目以降のレッスンの際にはこの画面の下にある「もっと見る」を開いてテキストの朗読のところをクリックしてくださいすぐにテキスト本文を読み上げる部分に行けます。今回は Music and Parties 40 Dance and Club Music Picks Labels, DJs and Albums by Genre コラムニストのサンダイがおすすめのダンスミュージッククラブ系のレーベル DJ アルバムを紹介しています。楽しみながらレッスンしましょう。One Prologue In this series, we've provided an overview of the different kinds of electronic dance music, shining a light on some of the most important artists and classic tracks that came to define each genre. In this column, I put together a list of albums to, to provide new listeners with an introduction to the best that each genre has to offer. As many of the seminal albums of club music are now difficult or impossible to obtain, I've tried to choose works that can be purchased new. Thankfully, the EDM craze of the past decade has led to many classic albums being reissued. Many of the albums in this article can be found on music streaming sites. If you choose to listen on those platforms, I recommend making sure the audio you're listening to is not MP3 format and is at least of CD quality. As we've mentioned in this series before, electronic dance music is meant to be felt with the entire body, not just listened to with the ears. For recommendations for the best, Sound system and audio equipment to listen to this music, check out Big Brother's articles Gear and Business 4 and 5. 2. House Music Ministry of Sound Ministry of Sound opened in London in 1991 and has been a sanctuary for house music in the UK ever since. Modeled after the Paradise Garage in New York, the club is known for the attention and care put into its sound system. It also runs a record label that has released many dance music compilations featuring classic tracks for an affordable price. The best initiation for those who want to know what good house music is. Defected Records. Defected Records is one of the UK based labels that has led the house music scene for over 20 years. It organizes many club nights in the UK as well as in Europe, the US, and Ibiza, and impressively straddles a line between mainstream success and underground respect. In its early years, it was partly funded by Ministry of Sound. Defected is also known for its many compilation albums, especially the mix CD series in The House and the House Masters series, spotlighting some of the legendary names of the genre. French Style House and Electro. The best music in this subgenre speaks to both dance music fans and rock and pop fans. 
Especially recommended is the music of Daft Punk, who first introduced the world to French-style house and electro in the 90s. Justice, who developed the electro sound by introducing more elements of rock in the early 2000s, and the music of Kitsune, a label-slash-fashion brand started in 2002 by Frenchmen Gildes Loaic and Kuroki Masaya. 3. Techno Detroit Techno There are fewer Detroit Techno mix CDs and compilations out there than there are for house music, but here are a few to get you started. One compilation from techno pioneer Derek May, one compilation from Jeff Mills' label, and a couple of mix CDs from Carl Craig's new Detroit Love series. Send Fate, Cocoon Send Fate's German techno label Cocoon has cultivated a lot of great DJs slash producers over the years. The label periodically releases unmixed compilations featuring the label's best tracks, but I recommend Fate's Sound of the Season mix series, in which he looks back on the past Ibiza season. Compact Berlin is the capital of German techno, but current based producer Michael Meyer's label, Compact, provides a warmer counterpoint to the drier, more industrial sounds of techno from Berlin. Artists like The Field and Guy Borato, who combine techno with elements like ambient music and trance, are especially noteworthy. Other techno. The second generation Detroit techno DJ and minimal techno pioneer Richie Houghton has released a number of seminal techno albums under his recording alias Plastic Man. Also, the UK underground club slash label Fabric is known for providing a platform to some of the biggest names in techno. 4. Big Beat Fatboy Slim As Fatboy Slim himself put it, the name came from our club, the Big Beat Boutique, which I'm tremendously proud of. I always thought the formula of Big Beat was the big beats of hip-hop, the energy of Acid House, and the pop sensibilities of the Beatles a little bit of punk sensibility, all rolled into one. During his time as resident DJ of the Big Beat Boutique, Fatboy's experimenting on the decks would lead him to developing the Big Beat sound. Underworld Underworld broke through to the mainstream in the late 90s with its unique blend of rock and techno music. While they've released memorable music at every stage of their career, I especially recommend the work they released with techno DJ Darren Emerson. Live from the Roundhouse, while from later in their career, is a set that balances their new music with their old, and was only released in Japan. The Chemical Brothers The Chemical Brothers have released many great albums to date, so as an entry point I would recommend their best of compilation Brotherhood. Don't Think is a live album featuring their headlining set from the 2011 Fuji Rock Festival. Also, be sure to hop onto YouTube to check out their iconic music videos, namely the ones directed by Spike Jones and Michelle Gondry. The Prodigy the Prodigy rose to prominence with his blend of punk rock attitude and rave music ferocity. Frontman Keith Flint's death in March 2019 sent shockwaves throughout the dance music world. 5. Progressive House Sasha By meticulously taking a part in rebuilding a selection of tracks for his album Involver, Sasha changed the game by blurring the line between traditional mix CD and an original album. On Fondation NYC, which is based on his sets from the legendary New York nightclub Twilo, he perfected the art of using Ableton software to essentially create remixes on the fly. John Digweed For the past decade or so, Digweed has released some of his best DJ sets as multi-CD live albums, which are all worth a listen. Especially recommended is Live in Tokyo, which features his April 2018 set from the nightclub Contact in Shibuya, Tokyo. Global Underground in 1996, the trans and progressive house label Global Underground began releasing mix compilations based on a particular city or location that a DJ had performed in. The series spotlighted DJs like Dave Seaman, Sasha, John Digweed, Paul Oakenfold, and Darren Emerson, and has the dubious distinction of being one of the first to feature a common mix compilation trope, a cover design featuring an exotic location with a usually less than photogenic DJ posing in front. Carl Cox's entry, GU38, Black Rock Desert, is a modern classic. Balance With seminal labels like Global Underground and Renaissance now only releasing a few albums or singles a year, the Australian label Balance has stepped up to fill the void of Progressive House mix CDs. The albums below each offer a journey you'll never forget. 6. Trip Hop, Drum and Bass, Dubstep Trip Hop Big Beat is a genre that was founded on the breakbeats and sampling culture of American hip-hop. In contrast, trip-hop was born when DJs in Bristol, 
a city in southwest England, decided to slow down those breakbeats to create a psychedelic, hypnotic vibe. Bristol had been home to a large Jamaican immigrant population since the 70s, and by the 80s, the young generation had become well acquainted with Jamaican music like reggae and dub. The arrival of hip-hop from the U.S. would spur the development of trip-hop, which also incorporates many different genres of black music, including funk, soul, jazz, psychedelic music, R&B, and house. Trip-hop is sometimes called down-tempo or chill-out for its slow down-tempo. Drum and bass. While some DJs slow breakbeats down into a hypnotic drawl, other DJs sped them up to create a type of hardcore dance music called drum and bass. Drum and bass developed out of lower class black communities where young people were growing up in the unease of the post-Thatcher era and against the backdrop of the gang culture of the UK's hip hop scene. Its broken beats reflected a desire to break down the walls and other obstacles that society was putting in front of them. In contrast to happy, ecstasy-fueled rave music, the scene pursued a darker, more distorted sound. Dubstep Dubstep developed out of genres like UK Garage, Two-Step, and Drum and Bass. While Drum and Bass overwhelms listeners with furious breakbeats, Dubstep overwhelms with heavy, wobbly, stretched-out sub-bass that is not so much audible as it is meant to be felt by the body. Dubstep is dark, wet, and oppressive, evoking rainy, moody, dystopian soundscapes. The London nightclub and label Fabric is known for its drum and bass and dubstep mix CDs. 7. Trance Music Armada The Armada label was co-founded by Dutch trance DJ Armin van Buren in 2003, and provided an outlet for many epic trance DJs that went on to evolve the sound throughout the 2000s and into the 2010s. The progressive trance DJ Marcus Schultz was one of them. Schultz is now signed to Tiesto's Black Hole Recordings. In Search of Sunrise The In Search of Sunrise series is one of Trance's longest-running mix series, launched in 1999 by Dutch DJ Tiesto. Fellow Dutch DJ Richard Duran took over starting 2010, and the latest several installments have been mixed by Marcus Schultz, among others. And Juna Beats The UK trance trio Above and Beyond runs two labels, both named after Anjuna Beach, considered the birthplace of Goa Trance. Anjuna Beats is an epic trance label, while Anjuna Deep is a deep house and progressive house label. Perfecto The UK trance DJ Paul Oakenfold made Perfecto one of the genre's biggest labels with his Goa trance mixes in the 90s. The label is currently under the Black Hole Recordings umbrella. Oakenfold is known for his outdoor sets in nature, and that dynamic is perfectly captured in mixes like Four Seasons, Mount Everest, The Base Camp Mix, and Sunset at Stonehenge. Psychedelic Trance Psychedelic trance has many labels specializing in a range of subgenres. Here are some examples from four of the biggest acts that helped define and expand the Goa trance, Psy trance sound. 8. EDM Europe In the second half of the 2000s, acts like Swedish House Mafia, Eric Prids, and David Guetta helped spread a European house music and electro house around the world. In the 2010s, Avicii rose to become perhaps the biggest name in EDM and achieve pop style levels of fame. His death in 2018 at the young age of 28 would signal the beginning of the end of the EDM craze. America The Canadian producer Dead Mouse and the American DJ Cascade broke into the mainstream with catchy house hits in the second half of the 2000s. Meanwhile, party DJs like Diplo and Steve Aoki fused electro beats with hip-hop to pave the way for EDM to conquer America. 9. Ambient, New Age, IDM, Lounge Music Ambient music. The English musician Brian Eno first used the term ambient music in his 1978 album Ambient, Music for Airports. In the liner notes, he writes that ambient music must be as ignorable as it is interesting and designed to induce calm and space to think. In the 90s, groups like The Orb would combine ambient music with house and techno to create ambient house and ambient techno. New Age Music. New Age music developed out of the hippie and back-to-nature movements of the 60s, and was conceived as soothing music meant to accompany meditation and yoga sessions. In 1976, the guitarist William Ackerman founded the independent record label Windham Hill Records to specialize in mellow instrumental acoustic guitar. In 1976, the guitarist William Ackerman founded the independent record label Windham Hill Records to specialize in mellow instrumental acoustic music. Billboard magazine originally called the music soft jazz and later listed it as new age. 
The German group Enigma and the French duo Deep Forest would combine New Age music with dance beats to make the genre a worldwide phenomenon in the 90s. Warp Some artists combine ambient house and techno with elements of rock, jazz, funk, and drum and bass, and took the genre in a more experimental, avant-garde direction. That music came to be called Intelligent Dance Music, or IDM for short. The UK label Warp released Artificial Intelligence, a compilation highlighting some of those avant-garde artists, and established IDM as electronic music to listen to at home. Lounge Music Lounge music is a hip, stylish type of down-tempo music that is played in lounge spaces at hotels and bars. The French DJ Stéphane Pomponiac helped popularize the genre when he became resident DJ at Hotel Costas, a hand hotel in Paris, and started releasing mixed CDs featuring the music he was playing. Another important lounge down-tempo compilation series is Café Del Mar, which takes its name from a legendary bar on the White Isle. Japanese musician Osawa Shinji's band Mondo Grosso is another important figure in lounge music. 10. Epilogue When it comes to popular music, there is no shortage of lists and rankings claiming to be the authoritative selection of must-listen albums. Some of the best known include Rolling Stone magazine's list of the 500 greatest albums of all time, and the book 1001 Albums You Must Hear Before You Die. These days, you even have books like Shinko Music's This Collection, Japanese City Pop. These publications are great references not only for collectors, but also for people who don't know what albums to start with when first listening to a new genre. Meanwhile, there are hardly any publications that feature a definitive list of electronic dance music albums. There are many reasons for this. For one, dance music slash clubbing culture has always been about club nights and raves, not albums. Until the EDM craze, DJs tended to release more mixed CDs than they did original music, and when they did, it was usually in the form of a single, rather than a full album. Mixed CDs were popularized by DJs like Sasha, John Digweed, and Paul Oakenfold. Because a mixed CD involves a range of different tracks, usually from a range of different labels, licensing all the necessary tracks can be a hassle. As a result, many dance music mixes are released only once. If you were to make a list of all the classic albums in dance music, you would likely find that at least half of those works can only be obtained used. In recent years, with the popularization of streaming music digitally, DJs and record labels have gone beyond the mix CD format, and are instead uploading their mixes to platforms like YouTube, SoundCloud, and MixCloud. Today, big-name EDM artists do release artist albums every once in a while, but their concern is more on getting their latest single to the top of the DJ charts. Nonetheless, albums are an important window into a time and place, a genre, sound, or style. The best examples are works of art. This applies to electronic dance music as well. While a single song can usually only say one thing, an entire album can have a greater message it wants to convey. In that sense, mixed CDs offer to take the listener on a journey, making them perfect for this day and age. Ijo, Music and Parties 40, Dance and Club Music Picks, Labels, DJs, and Albums by Genre. No eko tiki store o dokushimashita. Ikaga deshita ka? このコンテンツが気に入ったら YouTube のこの動画の右下にあるボタンからチャンネル登録をぜひ行ってくださいテキストの最後にある Facebook、Twitter、Instagram のアイコンから DIG 東京の公式アカウントに入りフォローしてくださいご意見ご要望がありましたら YouTube や SNS のコメント欄にご記入ください www.digtokyo.jp